Hi guys, this is Chris19, A-E-F-E here, and today I'm going to be going over why I believe Amazon Finance checking account would be a lot better than your financial institution or your bank checking account. And uh, the only downside I see to having a M1 Finance checking account versus your bank account is that M1 Finance will charge you because you have to sign up for the gold membership. So M1 Finance will charge you $125 a year. So that's the only downside I see to having a M1 Finance checking account. But all the pros greatly outweigh this one negative and conventionally neutralize that negative altogether and let's get into it and remember if you guys do like the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button leave a comment below let me know how I can make this video better for you guys or in the future all right so starting off one benefit uh to having an M1 Finance checking account to start off making M1 Finance checking account you will go to m1finance.com you will open up account and then you will sign up for that membership that's all it is and that membership costs 125 dollars but once you do that you get access to all these perks but today we are only going to be focused on the perks that are beneficial to the checking here so uh, you will get 1% checking every month paid to you for the cash that you have sitting in your account so if that's $500 you get paid 1% of that which would be $5 if it's a thousand dollars you get paid 1% of that which would be ten dollars if it's ten thousand dollars you get paid one percent of that which would be a hundred dollars so if you are a working individual where you have your checks hitting your account all the time m1 finance will pay you one percent of all your checks in your account for that month so if you're saving money or you trying to save money m1 finance will help you save money it will pay you for the money sitting there it can help out especially when you get your taxes or you get that nice big bonus check that one percent they will pay you every single month will accumulate a snowball effect so if you have five hundred dollars it'll pay you five dollars then next month it'll pay you off of it if you add no money to it it'll pay you off that same five hundred and five dollars uh as well as whatever you spend whatever you spend for that month it will pay you one percent cash back on whatever you spend that month and so let's go over a demo here of how that will work or how that will look here so say you just starting off uh, you just started working you have to pay your bills you get paid 500 every two weeks something like that so let's say for the month for one month you put $500 in there okay you put $500 in there 1% of $500 is $5 okay and so now the next month come you still have that 500 because you're saving up money for a car or maybe buy your girlfriend or boyfriend or something or birthday. So you get you got that $500 in there and you get paid $5 off that $500 but you can't add any more money to it. So uh, in one finance they put $5 in there for you because that, that's what they pay you and then they'll pay you 1% of that. And that's going to be, that second month will be $500 and 5 cents. Say so you forget, you're not putting money anymore and so 5 they have to pay you off of your new balance now would be will be your new balance so they'll pay you one percent of that and you can see how this how this would go up by itself now they have to pay you that to add that to your account and they'll have to pay you one percent off of that and you see how your money is slowly increasing by itself and this is if you was to put money in there if you can't afford anything you work in paycheck to paycheck and it would go up by itself like that but let's say here you're starting off with it first month you put that $500 in there they pay you $5 so they get that $5 and that second month you put another $500 in there and so now you're at $1,000 that $5 and so that to pay you off of that and this is how this is the snowball effect as well as the compound here and you see how it goes up to 1005 the second month so let's say you put another 500 in there and then they got to pay you that ten dollars and five cents and look how, look how fast your money is going up 15 for that month and so you can see how fast it's going up here so say you put another 500 in there so that's 2000 right and then you got that 15 which will turn that into 30 and then you got another 15 here 
which would turn that into 20. Boom, yeah. And you see how it's, your money is starting to go up a lot faster. And this is starting off at 500 on that first month. And now we like to the third month and it's $20. And this is just, you put that $500 in there. And you see how your money is starting to go up a lot faster. This is called that snowball effect and that compound interest because they're paying you money and you're adding money into it. Say you're somebody that's been saving up for a while. Say, hell, you got $1,000 or $10,000. Boom, you get paid $100 there. You're a working individual. So you put that $500 in there, right? You may get made, you may make more than 500 that you can put in there a month, but I'm just saying you may put 500 there a month. You get paid that other, that other money, then you got six, uh, 100 on top of that, so you got $600, right? Uh oh, zeros. So you got $600, right? Boom, you get paid 106. And then you know you will add that 106 to that, right? So that would be 7. 06 and so you add that 106 to that and so you see how that compound how that compound interest is just going up and so if you're adding money to this at the same time where you're just putting 500 in there and you're getting the interest payment you can see how this how, how this would benefit you and help you get that compound interest and so say you put another 500 in there right and so you put another 500 in there that will give you we'll say 1,200 and you can see how that's jumped up to 112 right there and you put another 500 I'm pretty sure you guys get that idea by now uh, <laughs> so I have to keep doing it uh, so you got that 7 and that 1 uh, that'll be that 8 1 2 and so you guys see how it's just going up so that's that compound interest right there. And say you and say you was a if you, if you was to spend that money, you make a hundred dollars off it because they give you uh one percent cash back whatever you spend that money. So say you say you say you're paying bills, right? Say you got your uh you paying your rent. Let's say your rent's like six hundred dollars, right? So uh let's do this. Say you're paying your rent. Your rent's like six hundred. You gotta pay your phone bill. I don't know how much you guys' phone bills is, so I'm gonna just put in a hundred dollars. I'm just guessing here. You got your phone bill. You got what? Your internet. I don't know what you guys' internet are like, so I'm just rounding down to one hundred. Some guys maybe more. I know the gamers are gonna be when you get the higher internet, but I'm just rounding down to one hundred here. You got your light bill. Let's say sixty dollars on a light bill, right? Let's say you got gas. Let's say somebody pay what? What you guys pay for? Let's say fifty dollars for gas. I know it's probably more than that. I'm just spitballing here. So we got some bills, we got gas, we got what, 500 in groceries probably, if you uh, are eating out, whatever you guys want to put in there. Uh, what else can we throw on there? Uh, I guess, I guess clubbing, whatever you guys, I'm just extra $30 in there. I'm just putting numbers in there, but you guys got that. So you guys do all that, right? You spend, uh, that's uh, 1,440. So let's say you get, they'll pay you every month back on that. So so with the, what you'll make back on that would be a fourteen forty. So they're paying you back every month. So you, if you're spending money, they're paying you one percent back for spending money. If you're saving money, they're paying you one percent on top of saving money. And this is every month. And that's one or two benefits why I think this is a lot better than your traditional bank account. The other reason why I think this is better than your traditional bank account is because if you have to borrow money or get a loan. You can borrow up against 35% of whatever you have invested in your account. So if you have $10,000 invested in your account, you want to get money, and you need to buy like a car or something like that, but you don't want to spend your money, you need to get a loan, you can borrow up to 35%, and that would be 3500 So like, they put examples here, like you want to start a business here, like they say Sally needs 3500 to get her business. She has 10000 in her M1 finance account. Uh, so she's able to borrow at 35% of her uh, portfolio. And so that would give her $3,500 that she need. And you would, they charge you 2% interest whenever you borrow. And you can pay back anytime. So it's not like you have a set date where you got to pay or they're going to take your check or report to the credit. You pay back anytime and you have instant access to it. So there's no waiting another business day or another week. That same time that you do it, 
is that same time that you have access to it and you pay back a two percent uh at your at your leisure there and so that's another reason three reasons right there that i think this is better than choosing a bank you choose a bank here to file the application right and then you have to wait here you get that one percent cash back if you spend money you get that one percent uh on the check for money you have sitting there the loan here you get instant access to it up to 35 percent uh also here you have total control over your card so you can lock the card if you don't want nobody using it so you got some bills coming through you want to pay any bills or you know you got something that you just want to pay hit that lock button on your card and nothing goes through till you unlock it you can change the pin and you can port issues too if you have any issues with your car if it's stolen lost anything like that you got a three thousand dollar daily spending limit so you can spend three thousand per day you can withdraw five hundred and ten dollars per day and they'll reverse you for four fees for the month so if the ATM charges you like a five dollar fee or twenty dollar fee uh it will reimburse you for that you can get i'm not clear on it because they have information but you can get direct deposit uh it will have voided check on there if you want to get a voided check to your employer it will have a direct deposit account and routing number so you can link your direct deposit and have money just hitting your m1 finance as well as you can keep track of your transactions here and you can see here while i was getting 10 10 dollars i put 10 dollars in because i wasn't paying attention to it i just started this uh i got paid nine cents for that 10 10 10 10 10 i got paid interest on top of all of this uh that was 12 dollars then you see how the compounds kicking up 18 dollars right now i'm currently sitting at at 500 uh and so what i say to make this profitable uh because they do charge you the only downside is because they do charge you that 125 dollars so i say to offset that if you're going to do this, make sure you are really committed to it. And the reason why is obviously you want to have about $1,250 in there. And why I say that is because if you have $1,250 in there, uh, they will pay you every month $12.50. Okay? And so they're paying you $12.50 every month. You do that for a year, which would be 12 months. That will pay for itself at $150. So... If you have more than a thousand or two hundred dollars in there, you're good. You're not losing any money because the membership is going to pay for itself because they're they're pretty much paying the membership for you because they have to pay you money. And they, if you have that one thousand, uh, that one thousand two hundred fifty dollars in there, and you're adding money to it, then you obviously, you know, you, oh man, that's not even f. Obviously, you, you're making a lot a lot more money, and this is why I think this is worth it worth it here than your traditional bank account yes you have to spend that 125 dollars but if you're putting all your paychecks in here or you're using this as savings it will pay for itself as well as make you a profit and let's say if you had ten thousand this is some fantasy numbers here let's say you somebody sold for ten thousand you'll get a hundred dollars a month maybe you're somebody that's oh and you're retiring and maybe let's say you have like what you, I'm pretty sure you guys will have more than fifty thousand dollars. I'm not that old, so I'm not sure how people's pockets are looking. So you have fifty thousand dollars. That's five hundred a month, and you can see fifty thousand seems like a long way away, but let's say you put five hundred for twelve months in here. That's six thousand a year right there. Okay, and so let's say if you do that six thousand, let's say you did it for three years. You committed to it, right? You do that for three years. We make a long term here now, guys. Do that for three years. That's eighteen thousand right there. Okay. Let's say uh, obviously it would be more than eighteen thousand because you got to remember you getting you guys are getting an interest payment. I'm skipping over that because I don't want to do too much complex uh, math. So let's say uh, one percent of eighteen thousand, one hundred eighty dollars. Just take off two zeros and you'll see how how the money is going up right there. I mean that's a free check you guys will be using. So the sooner you start in one finance, the more money you have put in there the more rewarding it is the rewards greatly outweigh the negatives here and I, that's why i think m1 finance is a lot better than your traditional bank account and that's why i believe m1 finance is a lot better than Robinhood. Robinhood only does 0 0.30 which is very low 
and they also doesn't offer the benefits as does. M1 Finance offers these benefits at a high premium of 1%. Uh, these pay you monthly, and you, you can make a passive income if you are committed to this. You can get to the point where you're not working anymore. Like if you can get to five hundred thousand dollars, or you get to a million, you get to a million dollars like this. You're not, you're not having to work. I mean, you can work your butt off, put the money in here to save up for the first few years of your life, and then after that, when I mean, you get to forty or something, depending on how much money you put in there, you don't have to work, and you can afford all the things that you want to buy and have a luxurious lifestyle. And so this is why I do think M1 Finance is worth it, and I do hope you guys. Uh, try it out if you guys are skeptical about it and you think it's some kind of trick to it or some kind of scam i am making a documentary about it on my youtube channel here so i'm starting off at as you guys saw i'm starting off like at 500 dollars and something like that and then you guys can just follow me uh on my documentary here as i uh build up my account because i start off at zero here i'm building up every month i'll be doing reports i'll call it the passive income videos passive income in finance or passive income Robinhood. I'll be uploading my how much I have for the month, how much interest I got paid for the month. And so when you guys see me hit that 10,000 threshold, then that 50,000, then that 100,000, you guys will know that I started here at zero and that you guys can do it too. It just takes discipline, hard work, and sacrifice. But it will pay off. And I do hope that you guys subscribe to the channel and join my journey here on this financial adventure of becoming uh financially having this financial freedom that this will that this hard work will give us in the years to come this is something that it will, will literally reward you for your hard work but it's something that will not happen overnight you put in the time and effort to uh to do this and to build your path your work will be rewarded for you you will have an easier future you will you have the, the f you money to tell your boss because you want to take the bs at work you will have your financial freedom you can work if you want to work to get benefits stuff like that but as far as financial freedom goes and financial flexibility you will have that but you have to start off small then you will get big eventually and that's what my documentary is about is to help educate everybody into having that financial freedom if you guys do decide to sign up with my finance use the link in the description and the bottom uh it'll give you 100 free dollars and it'll, it will give me 100 free dollars and i do hope that you guys subscribe leave a comment whether this is helpful or not helpful how can i make these videos better and i will see you guys in the next video